hello, 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 and welcome, my Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need read for the new moon to full moon in September 2021? I am your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short. Professional witch, professional intuitive president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998, author of Words of Grace from a professional witch available on Kindle, the Archangel of Lions, Mark Angelo Lions, but you can call me Mal. Last reading of the day for me, I gotta call my mom. <laughs> Sunday at the time of this recording, uh, and uh, I haven't spoken to her in a couple of days, and she's a Cancerian, that's why I mention her as I usually do. I was raised by a Cancerian mom, the mothers of the Zodiac. So uh, this is what happens. <laughs> Purple hair aside. If you are new to the channel, a five card draw, really, whatever the number is, in this case, it's a five card draw, just means uh, it's a timeline reading where I pick one card from, in this case, five different decks to get you clues, tips, and hints about, in this case, a waxing moon uh, from uh, new to full. The new moon in Virgo, Monday, Labor Day here in the United States, September 6th. The uh, the new moon is at 8.52 p.m., which means that we're doing a Labor Day weekend in Dark Moon, the three days before new moon. It's called Dark Moon. It's the death before the rebirth. You might want to check your full to new moon rings, the ones I did previous uh, to this one in the waxing wing, the waning side, uh, building up to this now waxing. And there's something else important about September 6th. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's my birthday. My mother gave birth to me. Oh, my God. 53 years ago. Yeah, I know. I don't look at thanks. Neither does she, by the way. I inherited her skin. Praise the gods and her sense of humor and her ability to teach. So there you have it. We are then looking at a waxing moon read. You plant the seed, it grows. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> goes upwards in the scale, I guess, uh, to a tricky, once again, full moon. Just like uh, last month with the full moon in Aquarius, it wasn't really full moon. It waxed up to, and then the moment it hit full moon, the astrological degree, it went void, of course. Well, we have that again. So you have uh, the, the Pisces moon right up until the moment it hits full on Monday the 20th. 20th? The 20th of uh, September goes uh, full and void, of course, 7.55 p.m. We'll then go into Aries at 11.13 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm from New York, if you cannot possibly tell. Uh, so that being said, uh, let's get up in this uh, gig. It's a general read. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And I say that because sometimes you get the same situation, but a different angle, right? Your sun sign is going to get different information than your moon. Intellectual is an example, uh, opposing, or I should say, in, uh, or intuitive. Um, but sometimes you get something completely else different in the timeline that you need to be aware of uh, to build something, even if it's within yourself. Uh, if you want to book me for a personal read, very easy to do. I made a video called Booking a Reading with Mel. It's fun. I enjoyed making it. People like it. Uh, and explains what goes on before, during, and after. Not just me, but for the client, right? we got to figure out what video platform to do it on and all that, because I like the face-to-face. -face. I'm not recording readings and saying it out to people. And also to make it very clear, you will never, ever see me reaching out to someone, asking them if they want a read. Oh, no, 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 no. I am a witch. you got to come to the witch. The witch doesn't go to you. Otherwise, what else would we do? We'd be going door to door all the time. No point now. Uh, okay, other than that, both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath if you will. I will certainly do my best to do the same to get you the clarity, guidance, and grace that I can from my pantheons of the divine, all consecrated into these cards, different pantheons for different decks. But uh, also in this spread, we're also using the five decks as fire, earth, air, water, and spirit. A client of mine called it uh, a spell kit reading, and I was like, oh my god, it really is. So that's why we're doing it this way, so that you can bring together the elements to have a very powerful uh, new moon in Virgo, and it's a new moon on Monday, so someone wake up Simon Le Bon and tell him it's my birthday. <laughs> you know I'll be posting that song that day. We'll probably have it on loop. <laughs> Shall we? All right, uh, I'm, let's do this. Please take a nice deep breath. <sighs> Waiting to inhale. Yeah, give me a sec. Because we're starting with the element of fire. 
with the magical spell card space either one of my favorites from Lucy Cavendish. She's got a cool name, we can't say it that way. Bless her heart, bless her skill, bless her craft. As I, all joking aside, call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism, please. What is the perfect spell fragment from the magical spell cards? For the Cancerian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading to help them define their element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, perhaps their heart's desire to plant the seed at new and reap at full, uh, September 2021. Harvest! Uh, who got this? Taurus got this, just saying. That's why I have it written in front of me. So if you have any Taurus placements or are dealing with Taurus, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, this is a little bit of a long one. Not terribly, though. Uh, it, it, it's, it's lovely. Uh, as the ways of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall, let me work, yeah, let my work now bring me to harvest I am ready to receive my all. So harvest is usually considered a waning moon thing, the threshing of the wheat, the grim reaper, blah, 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 right? But, but in this case, you're building this, you're doing the work necessary. You're asking essentially in a spell and in an intention work, however you do your thing, if you do anything for new moon, uh, to put out there, no, I want the work that I'm doing to actually bring me uh, a harvest as the waves of the ocean are infinite, but infinite, uh, whatever, as the trees of the forest grow tall, which hopefully they will continue to do so on planet Earth as is, uh, let my work now bring me to harvest. I am ready to receive my all. And that's also about preparing yourself to be ready to receive. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what can we get you from the Crystal Oracle here? Tony Carmine Salerno's deck, uh, one of many, love his work, really love Blue Angel. Uh, publishing. They're pretty neat. Although some of the printing in their books are in micro font. We make deal. We make do. We have magnifying glasses. Don't need it for these though. Uh, this is your element of earth. If you have the stone indicated, great. If you want the stone, you don't have it, up to you. Can be just uh, the message in the Oracle bookie book itself. And you can always find a substitute. Clear Quartz does anything you want it to do. Please take a nice deep breath. <laughs> Here we go. I call upon Archangel Ariel, uh, one of the Archangels of the North, powers of Earth, hence the uh, Crystal Oracle. Please, one card in clarity for my beloved crab cakes, my Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Watching this video, receiving this reading, wanting their harvest. Who doesn't? And we're going into harvest season, right? The, the 20th, right? Right around full moon. It's got to be close to vernal equinox. It's usually the 19th, the 20th, 21st, 22nd, around there. Uh, the first day of uh, of the sun in Libra, but that is Mabin, autumnal equinox, the second of the harvest Sabbaths. So what do they got? What, what, what's, what's the perfect element of earth vibration here? A stone they can carry, just a message, some of that, all of that, to help them harvest this new moon in Virgo to full September 2021. Gold. Oh, I just had a Spandau Ballet flashback. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. I'm pretty sure that was Spandau Ballet. Correct me if I'm wrong. I will, somebody post it in the comment section <laughs> if it's not, even if it is, if I don't remember to. This is my last reading for the day. I have clients pretty much booked every day this coming week up until my birthday. I'm going to try and take uh, some of Labor Day off. Uh, value, confidence, self-worth, money and wealth. Well, I think we know what the Cancerians are shooting for here. So look, you can get a piece of gold. I know people are like, if I had a piece of gold, I wouldn't need to do the spell, but something gold-ish, gold-esque. Uh, uh, value, confidence, self-worth, money and wealth. We get the vibe on that. Uh, this gold card, <laughs> look, you got a gold card. This gold card is a symbolic reflection of your true inner worth. That's lovely. At the core of your being, there exists a pure golden essence with an infinite capacity to create, called your divine self, the, the divine child within you. 
the gate of heaven is in the heart. The, the, how many ways, how, I mean, I could have been a comparative religion scholar. You could find that truth in uh, all, the, all the way back into the, the ancient Vedics as well as uh, Western patriarchal traditions. Uh, not to mention the hidden mystical ones that aren't so hidden anymore. Uh, you are being urged to look within, to go beyond the superficial personality and connect through contemplation and meditation with your true nature. You're being asked to connect with your higher self, my darling. Uh, there is a yearning within you to manifest all your heart desires. Stick a pin in that. We'll come back to that because this is about your heart's desire. Uh, at the top of the list, you will discover a yearning for financial wealth and freedom and for the self-confidence that money can bring. Understandable. Uh, do not delude yourself that somehow money is bad or that it does not align with your spiritual ideals. <laughs> uh, Marianne Williamson said in one of her books, uh, there, there's nothing spiritual about breadlines, something like that. Her work, her early work, blessed be. Uh, money is just as much a part of God's creation uh, as we are. Uh, in actuality, it is neither good nor bad. Rather, it is something to be valued and put to good use. It is neutral. And I just did this for the previous reading. Does he have a lighter? Yes, he does. A little mini one. All right, ready? Pop quiz. I did this for my witch class students all the time. Good or evil? Mm -hmm. Depends on what I do with it, right? I can light a candle and pray for the healing of the world, or I can charge the house, right? So money is that, it's neutral. Everything in this world is neutral. It's very Course in Miracles. It's all about the motivation. Um, so uh, uh, sit quietly for a few minutes each day and lovingly imagine yourself having and achieving all your heart desires. You're being shown what to do here. Get something gold colored if you don't have an actual, something that is gold. Uh, then set a goal, one that you feel is achievable in the short term. In other words, $10 billion by the end of the week. No. No. Uh, I would like to manifest this fun thing that I, that I want to do in my life. A mud mat, you know, something, a, 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 a decent whatever. Uh, focus on it each day until it manifests, then set a new goal, and so on. Goals are reached one step at a time, an ongoing journey. You take set clear goals, yet remember to always keep focused on the present, for it is in the present that all unfolds. You always get your next step in the next moment, and sometimes your next step is rest. <laughs> right? It's not always about, I have to manifest this, although it feels that way. You deserve to be and have all your heart desires, and don't they just give you an affirmation? Within my heart flows a river of gold. I am one with the eternal light of creation. I manifest my dreams. I create abundance in my life through love. And that's the truth. Yeah, this is absolutely about you embodying your soul, your higher self, your, uh, your true light, the kingdom of heaven within you. Pick your language. Um, but certainly, you're going to get your harvest here if you do that, particularly being heart-centered about it, right? Something very high vibrational there, but then again, gold is a very strong conductor of electricity, let alone energy. Uh, energy. It's all E equaling MC squared. Let's look at your element of air, he said, sort of kind of rhyming. Uh, the healing with the angels oracle. Who are the healing angels? The Cancerians need to call in with this. Breathe. Right, the healing of the mind around money and finances and 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 all of that. Nah, no one needs to work on that, do they? Not if they want their harvest. Said so nobody ever. Huh, as I come upon the angels and archangels of the West and the sign of water, the Gabrielites. Please, one card in clarity for the Cancerian collective: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading. This feels nice, though. Please, what have you got? What? Who are the perfect healing angels for the Cancerians to work with, right? Their element of air to feed the fire, right? To fan the flames of, uh, of that harvest desire with that work and that gold. So higher dimensional, so higher self vibey there. The true love that they are manifested as a wealth that can never be taken from them but can be obscured. So what's their element of air to help them here with this, this new to full September 2021? Why do you do it? Power. <laughs> I am a D.
devotee of Katya Zamolochikova, but you know, if my dad had known her, would probably have called her Katya. Uh, the healing angels of power. This is about financial power, darling. It's a power. It just is. Not just having it, what you do with it when you got it, what you do when you don't. Right? I mean, we're looking at confidence and self-worth and knowing that the truth of who you are, even if it's on a subconscious level, technically a super conscious level, this isn't your first life time on planet Earth. Maybe it's your last. I don't know you. I don't know who's watching this. Maybe it's mine. I don't know, ultimately. But we come here to develop the soul and learning how to manage. Look how many issues are around money and wealth, right? What, you think that that couldn't be used by the divine to make your soul grow integrity, right? In power, financial power is definitely a thing. Again, here's financial power. What are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with it? To heal the mind. Well, and particularly if you really hate people who have a lot of money, who are, I'm just using that word hate, be gentle with me, you know what I mean? Resentful, perhaps. Envy probably comes into that most of the time as well. Who doesn't? Um, well, it's, it's, then use that. Say, well, then I am going to get that. They, that's them. What am I going to do? Let me call back my power. Because blame, unfortunately, puts our power beyond where we can do anything about it, right? It projects it so onto other people where if we could say, all right, then let me do me. Bless you. May you heal. May you whatever. Because all heroes are villains at some point. It's just how it works. I didn't write it that way, although it does make for good, uh, <laughs> good TV and movies weirder in life. All right. So the healing angels of power to help you heal your financial power, which is an internal job. Trust me, that's an inside job. Let's look at your element of water, my water signs, the party turner deck of the whispers of love oracle, your element of water here, because the water is just part of spell work. It just is. I mean, you got to feel it. Uh, otherwise, how do you know the energy of what you're putting out there? It's really by, by how you feel it, right? Please take a nice deep breath. It's like the frequency of it. You can feel it. As I call upon the higher selves of all involved. Well, this is pretty high up, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to say that the higher self has a lot to do with that gold, your gold card there. Uh, this is actually giving me a little bit of internal vertigo. This is so high. Please, one card in clarity. Higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above for the Cancerian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video. Receiving this reading. What is their element of water here? Their whisper of love, the piece of information, inspiration, insight that they need to manifest this harvest in their element of fire, working with that vibration of gold in their earth with the healing angels of power here a real opportunity to heal not just for themselves but for everybody on planet earth a bit of that financial healing healing of financial power on planet earth what do you got for them their element of water this new moon to full september 2021 20, sorry it's two it's getting a little humid in here which is water Fire, earth, air, water, spirit, next. Like attracts like. Good old-fashioned misused law, universal law. If you are longing for more love in your life, uh, you need to be more loving. And you know, if you are in the Mark Angelo Lines Mal for short private Facebook group, a friend of mine, Michelle, uh, Michelle Bruckler, Bruckner, um, uh, 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 she blogs uh, Showgirl. She's a showgirl. Love her. A friend from high school. Uh, she posted this thing. Uh, I think it's from Dispinoza. I forget his name. But that w when the heart is open, it like puts out like 10 billion more photons, whatever. And I'm like, and they show a graphic. And it's like, no wonder they think we have wings. There are like these circles drawn in the image. Well, think of that. Think of this golden light in the center of your heart and just start blessing people with love. Silently, you're a Cancerian. You don't gotta let not let on what you're doing. I was raised by a Cancerian mother, moody, but you never really knew why. Not to mention an empath. You know, you're feeling other people's stuff. You don't know why you feel uh, so moody. So 
uh, you know, that like attracts like thing, be, give yourself the time, the love, the space, the breath, the rest that you need uh, to really tap into this. Take the time to meditate, to, to feel things uh, from a higher perspective, not just see them, because there's a healing of your financial power in here. And I get that that harvest doesn't just come financially, it comes through opportunities, doors opening, uh, connections. Uh, with people, places, and things. So that like attracts like. Think of charging a piece of gold with the divine love of your true self. However you want to say that, right? I think it's Chopra calls it the true self, or the real self, or, you know. Everybody's got a different name for it. If not, you know, there's even differences between uh, those who use the same name for it. The transpersonal self, the Christ self, the Buddha self. I just call it mom <laughs> the goddess here we go not really it's a long story yeah I'll, I'll i'll teach more of that stuff once we're out in public again let's get you your card of spirit healing mantra deck Metcon. one of my favorite things technically to me not an oracle a healing system i feel the same way about the caroline mace archetype deck Let's see what the Ascended Masters have to say here. We're going to call this out. We're going to call this the Ascended Masters of Wealth. Breathe. Yeah, you want to meet an interesting bunch of Ascended Masters, the Ascended Masters of Wealth and Prosperity, Abundance and Opulence. Honey, they got their own penthouse suite in the Ascended Master office building. Hello, my beloved Ascended Masters of Wealth, Prosperity, opulence and all that jazz please what is the perfect healing mantra for the cancerian collective sun moon rising venus signs watching this video receiving this reading who want their harvest in their element of fire working with the element of earth with gold vibration literally symbolically dealing with their own higher self uh, that self-confidence, they are worthy of manifesting their heart's desires because we stuck a pin in it because their heart's desires are part of the divine plan. So, of course, healing their own financial power in this way is going to affect everything and everyone, not just around them, but in uh, the human uh, connection, right? Unity consciousness. Uh, and like attracts like, that the more love they can flow out, even energetically, vibrationally. Very much Catherine Ponder. Ooh. Oh, the dynamic laws of prosperity. Catherine Ponder. I haven't thought about that book in years. Uh, what do you got them then? This, let's say they cast this and they do this mantra and they would do this mantra a little bit every day to that full moon. So starting at new. What do you got there? making me wait for the, this card. What do you got for them this new to full September 2021? Grounding my energy. It is safe to be in my body. If it was amplifying abundance, I would have just passed right out. And this would have been a very long video because I would even wait for me to come back around. Uh, grounding my energy. Can't. I keep forgetting in my lighting. You can't see white writing on pastel cards. It is safe to be in my body. Huh. Go fig. I don't feel that way depending on where you are on planet Earth right now. But that will certainly... Uh, ground you, allowing this energy to come into physical form. It is safe to be in my body. When your energy is grounded, you are no longer wrestling with the pain of the past or chasing after potential future outcomes. Dig it. You're in the present moment, right? There is no past or future when you are focused here and now. I just came up with that. <laughs> uh, you dare to demonstrate your very best attributes and qualities, no matter how much you are perceived or received by others. You've run out of fucks to give, and you're in the present moment, and it's safe to be in your body, and you're being authentic. I'm, am I translating, Macon? I'm just putting it into this reading. Uh, with your energy grounded, your mind can relax and your body becomes a more enjoyable environment to inhabit <laughs> work. This mantra is ideal for replacing compulsive thoughts, uh, which around money and finances, hello. Uh, releasing addictive behavior around money and finances, hello. And finding stability within yourself. 
yourself and within that golden core of divine light that we all are. That's why as you heal this for yourself, I mean, it's sort of like helping to heal financial injustice around the planet because it is a power, right? Money itself is neutral, right? And crypto, every time I hear cryptocurrency, I think Superman's dog, all right? So I have no idea. I really don't want to get into that or go there. Uh, but, you know, it's and then we just keep up coming with different ways to do it, right? So it's an internal thing, financial power. It really is. And, you know, that's going back to the science of mind movement. This is going back a really, as a man thinketh, so he shall be, and all that jazz. Nice read. Let me put, to you, put together a blessing for you. Please take a nice deep breath. As indeed, I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine, fueling this reading, guiding this reading to know, please bless and continually bless the Cancerian collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading, that they ground their energy because it's safe for them to be in their body, in their element of spirit, because in their element of water, like attracts like, if they're longing for more love in their lives, let them teach them show them to be more loving as that in their mind heals them of power issues in terms of the money the gold the financial the self-confidence the self-worth that they are worthy of manifesting their heart's desires for indeed they didn't choose their heart's desires they were written upon them before they ever incarnated into this life so that they may harvest what they can as they can the best that they can this new to full moon for as the ways of the ocean are infinite and as the trees of the forest grow tall let their work now bring them to harvest they are ready to receive their all for the well-being of all and with harm to none kitty cat as we will it so let it be done so would it be <laughs> so it is and you manifested a milky or manifestation which is a lot of alliteration after a rather long five card jar reading well an abundance of words at least wow very very cool read i mean i would work this mantra i would i would work like a fiddle from hell honestly uh and certainly if you are casting really good i here. So if, if you want to look into it, definitely check out your work career vocation reads for August, September. I think that might be hopeful there. Uh, otherwise, if you want to book me for a reading, you know how. Check in the description box. Follow me on Instagram. Whatever. Just reach out. It starts with people reaching out to the witch. It's just how it goes. Uh, also, um, you want to read my book? Certainly you can do that too. Words of Grace. But most importantly, I really do want to wish my Cancerians, my crab cakes, the very best and the very blessed of this new to full September 2021 that you may heal, grow, and prosper and be the very, very best that you can be. Healing this money stuff for you and for everyone on planet Earth so that everybody can draw in their harvest and may it begin with you and me. Oh, and baby man.